Hi, Dr. Frank Johnson from Sport Medicine Ultrasound Canada. I'm going to show you how to scan the CMC joint of the thumb. So the patient position is usually supine with the hand in a little bit of almost with the thumb pointing at the ceiling. It's neither supinated nor pronated. The landmark is going to be along the shaft of that first metacarpal and the movements are going to be very slight gentle movements of the probe towards the palm or towards the dorsum of the hand until we very clearly see the sharp metacarpal and carpal adjacent it. Now the area of interest is where this metacarpal drops off. It's quite a steep angle. So that's how we scan for the CMC joint. Going to show you how to scan and inject the CMC joint of the thumb. I usually like to have my patient supine, however, some practitioners prefer the patient seated. Either way, your landmark is going to be the first metacarpal. We now have that in view. Your orientation is long on the metacarpal, and your movements are going to be proximal until the end of the metacarpal. We now see the area of interest highlighted with the yellow arrow. In this particular patient, we see the radial artery sitting just here. I can probably do the injection quite safely with a steady hand with my angle of entry like so. However, to be more safe, I could make a slight modification by supinating the hand, going back to basics, long on the metacarpal. My movement is going to be to the end of the metacarpal. And now, once again, you can see the area of interest right where the yellow arrow is. With a bit of passive extension, you can see the metacarpal, the CMC joint space open up. My angle of entry of the needle is like this. So those are two different approaches to do the CMC joint injection.